Okay. We've got a fight with Kelly Pavlik now fighting your adversary in Bernard Hopkins. Like, your take on that fight, what do you think will happen in that fight? It's, like I said, styles make fights. You know, well, one person struggle against, the other person might not struggle, but with Hopkins, depending, you know, how he's going to prepare for the fight, Hopkins can make everybody look bad and can make everything difficult. Right. You know, Pavlik likes to go forward, and Hopkins is a very good counter puncher. So, depends how it works, but I think it'll make it difficult for him. I think it'll make it difficult for Pavlik, but obviously, Pavlik is the younger fighter coming up. Because, you know, right. Hopkins, he lost his last fight against me. You know, is he coming back just for a payday? Because the more fighters get older, you know, the, the, the emphasis, you know, after the fight with me, he was saying, I'm just going to retire now, I've had enough. But now he's coming back again. Is that for just for the money? Or does he really think he can win this fight? Mm -hmm. As Pavlik's the up and coming fighter who's going to want to knock him out. But I think it'll be difficult. It's not going to be an easy fight for Pavlik. I'd be shocked if it's an easy fight. Hopkins never been knocked out. He's a proud fighter. Right. And, you know, I don't think he's going to walk into that fight thinking he's just going to get blown away because I don't think he'd do that and fight just for the money like that. Right, because I'm, I'm, I'm on the rules. I mean, I've known you years. And I watched that fight ringside when you fought Hopkins. And I thought, oh, very, very close fight. Could have maybe... Going home and watching it on TV, you won the fight quite easily. But watching it there, maybe because I was like a little bit in awe of, of Bernard Hopkins, because like not realising that you're a legend, but I know you, so it doesn't yeah, really mean nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know yeah, you, so what? Yeah. You know what I mean? But watching yeah. it, I thought, bloody hell, this is like, how did you feel? Because you didn't really look that happy to me. I didn't like I'm telling yeah. you the truth. You didn't look that happy. Maybe it's because like it was your American debut and you, maybe you just wanted to blip him. Yeah, maybe, I wasn't happy with the performance, no, right. you know, but I knew that before the fight, it's difficult to look good against someone like Hopkins, but I was annoyed that I got caught early in the first round. To yeah. be honest, I don't think I, I respect him as much as I should have. I thought it was going to be a lot easier. Mm. I went in the ring, I didn't feel like at the edge like I did against Kessler and against Lacey, that bit of fear. Right. I didn't get that fear factor with, with Hopkins because I watched it. I watched Hopkins fight and he throws that one punch, but he caught me with that one punch because I was just yeah. lazy and I walked in and got caught cold. But from then on, I felt I was winning the fight. I know my dad was a bit more, yeah. you know, saying because <laughs> of the public, but yeah. I honestly felt that, you know, okay, about the way landing, at least I'm throwing. Yeah. And then when he was doing this thing, I thought it was disappointing because he was trying to cheat. You know, 10th round when he's a low yeah, blow, but yeah. for a fight he calls himself a legend, you know, to cheat like that, you know, I'm not, I'm not a cheat, I will never try and cheat, mm -hmm. you know, but that's, that's the way he felt he had to do the win, I suppose, that's the gamesmanship.